Hey, welcome. Um, my name is Kent. I am a oil painter from Northwest Kansas. I started painting about a year and a half ago. Uh, today, I'm gonna paint this mountain scene that I came up with. You can see behind me. Uh, this scene just kind of came to me in my mind. Um, Oh, that's terrible. Here's my <laughs> original sketch. So it wasn't too much, but I started doing my underpainting, kind of figuring out where I was going with it. And I picked a couple of colors that I think are gonna be pretty cool. What I'm hoping to turn it into is the moon kind of peeking behind the mountains and lighting up this little creek stream river valley down through the bottom and then this will be up above on a cliff kind of overlooking that with a little campfire little campsite type of thing um, but my goal is to contrast the light from the fire with the light from the moon and Hopefully it works out all right, and yeah. Um, so I'd call it the background and the foreground. So the background's going to be done uh, mostly a purple, purple hues, um, and then the foreground I have not yet decided. So. It's kind of interesting to see what it's going to come out to. I don't have anything but that simple sketch to go off of, so it's all whatever I decide to make it, I guess. And hopefully it's pretty cool and you guys will enjoy it. And yeah. Also, on this one, I want to try and paint it different than some of my others, but still the same. Just kind of experimenting with my styles, I guess. But it'd be pretty cool to <clears throat> see how it goes. Yeah. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, had a wonderful day, or enjoying your day. Uh, anything cool happening in your days? Let me know. I probably didn't mix up anywhere near enough paint be the story of my life. I did try to mix up some though beforehand, it saved me a little bit of time. I made this cool color chart this morning and it was a, it was a neat project, it was interesting. I did it the way I paint and not normal, I guess. Uh, so, like my green, I used my yellow and black to make it instead of a blue and yellow. I could make another one that's a little different, but I don't know. Hey guys, how is everybody? I hope everybody is having a wonderful day.
Hey Nikki and monkeys and Electro. I, so Electro, I changed the audio up a little bit. And you, you said you could hear the brushes before. How about that? <laughs> It's a little bit louder now. <laughs> so hopefully this is one of the darkest colors that I put on the whole painting. If it all works out how I'm hoping. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. This one's going to be completely different because it's all an experiment. <clears throat> mm. You had a great day? Awesome. When did you tell me you're going to start your new job? And what time is it in New Zealand? Like right now. Was everybody's I don't know I already asked how everybody's day was I don't know give me something to talk about <laughs> pretty good. I don't know how long I'll paint for. At least I'm going to try and cover that part. Like there's a tree here and a tree here. And then this part down I probably won't mess with. But I want to at least paint like all of that and kind of fiddle with it for a minute. Uh, so I'll be on for an hour or two probably. Like yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm doing well though. I can't complain. It's a little like awkward for me. Usually when I paint, I paint at like 4 a.m. instead of 4 p.m. But, man, eh. <laughs> you start on Monday. Well, good luck. I hope that the job goes well. Yeah, it's Saturday there. Um, so, now I need to make that same color just a little bit lighter to paint some more spots. That part I didn't mix. <laughs> Let's 
So is it annoying to be able to hear the fountain? It's 4 p.m. here in Kansas, and it's 51 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I don't know, 14 or something Celsius-ish, I don't know for sure. I would have to actually use Google for that. Did you go on your ride today, monkeys? You've got a pretty cool place that you live in there. <clears throat> You're able to go do some of the like world-class areas, I guess. That's pretty cool. A little jealous sometimes, I suppose. Okay. I gotta think a little. So, I watched a video that makes you want to be. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I watched a video, <clears throat> it was a while back, but they talked about how if you put brush strokes on sideways, or if you put them on vertically, the light hits the like different little grooves in the brush strokes and it changes the reflection. So I want to try and do some of that, like just experimenting or whatever on this painting. Something different. It's the first time that I painted like a imaginary thing. Out of my head, I guess. Um, I painted one once before, but it was supposed to be something else, so it was kind of a screw-up, and then I just went with that. But this one is intended. Where are you going to? Cancel due to the rain makes the clay base stick like stuck to the <clears throat> yeah when i was uh in arizona it rained or it had kind of snowed i guess like an inch or two and then it rained on us like just drizzled we did like 11 miles of the arizona trail oh she's there with you was that the first time you got to see her since the eruption? Like in person or whatever? Uh, but we, yeah, we did 11 miles of the Arizona Trail and there was like this red clay mud and it was just caked inside your sprockets and everything. It was pretty bad.
First time in two years with the COVID stuff that's going on. That's pretty cool that you did get to see her though. No, I haven't yet. I wanted to make sure that people knew I was doing it and everything. Um, I was gonna do a couple before I painted it just to, I don't know, give people a chance that they wanna come and watch. But I'm gonna paint it pretty soon actually. It's hard to guess where I want <laughs> all of my darkest colors. I hope when I get done putting this layer on there that it doesn't just look like a blob of purple. <laughs> I had to go help this lady today that I help and uh, help her carry her groceries and stuff in. And she called me. It was, I had to go at 1.30 <laughs> and it was like 3.45 before I came home and I was going to start at 4. I was all stressed out but for no real reason. One of those kind of afternoons. But, oh well. <laughs> See that? So I want some of this near that. And right there. Yeah, I'm surprised like like Kenneth hasn't showed up yet. Maybe he's lurking. <laughs> He disappeared off the map. Oh well. I don't know. Probably not everybody's into painting or whatever. I don't know how entertaining it is to sit there and watch me paint, but hopefully I can uh, say something funny once in a while. I need to make it a little lighter.
Do you have a picture you're copying from, or are you doing it from your head? You must have missed that part. Oh. This is my uh, sketch that I came up with, the drawing or whatever. <clears throat> when I decided what I was going to paint, that was what I drew and what I went off of to do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Camera delay. Uh, Wow, it is slow. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, so I guys just came up with that picture off of my head. I got the idea that I wanted, yeah, I wanted like this cliff or whatever with like a little campfire looking out over a valley in the moonlight. So I think it'll be pretty cool when it's done. I don't know though. Hope so. It's always my goal. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember if I put that on there. Well, I figured out how to make brown too. <laughs> Off of this one video that I watched. That guy's cool. So I got the idea to make this thing back here too. I'm liking it so far. <laughs> it's going to be completely different looking than some of my other paintings, I think. When it's done, I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking that, that I learned something from all my paintings earlier. That this one is actually kind of like my first painting since it's not like painting from a picture and all the ones that I did painting from pictures were just warm-ups to see like now I get to use what I learned from all of those or whatever I guess maybe something like that try to I don't know. I thought about putting like a guy laying here, like with his back to to you, looking out there. But I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to. It'd be cool to do that, but I don't know if I want to yet. I'd like to make part of it like pine needles and sit there and be all meticulous for an hour or whatever. Maybe it takes longer than that, I don't know. <laughs> How fast that can be like <laughs> test myself. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I always look forward to seeing the finished painting too. It's there's this funny thing though that happens like 
And I've asked a couple other painters, like when I started deciding that I was gonna do this, I found some other people to do it so I could talk to them before I like just went and did it. And I had this thought one day talking to them and it's like, all I think about when I'm painting one is like whatever I'm painting and then once it's done, it goes up on the wall, it's just kind of like, eh. And then I'm thinking about the next one. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know. I want to see it finished, but at the same time, I don't, because it's cool to live in this little world. That you get to create, I guess. Huh. Thinking to myself. <laughs> it's about to get more interesting. Instead of just purple, I'll be adding more colors in a sec. More col another color. Another color, but it'll be similar to the purple where it'll be shades. Got to close my eyes so I'm good for the airport drive tomorrow morning. Thanks for shadows. I really appreciate you so glad to see that you're doing what you love and to see that you're good. Thank you. Enjoy the video later if you want. Uh, but thanks for coming in. I understand it's like midnight there or whatever time it is, but yeah, thanks for coming and Appreciate it. Have a safe trip. Tell your mom hi. See ya. I might have to make more variations to these and kind of like go back in on top of this layer to give it more shadows and highlights or whatever. But, I don't know. We'll see once it's done if it's just super purple or if all the purple actually kind of starts to make sense. Good night and sleep well. color really 
many years um, for the moonlight. I know I don't want to use gray again because I did that up there, even though that wasn't a moonlight. because that color is quite a bit lighter. smash the devil out of it because I don't want to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> This part between the two purples, I don't know how I want to do it yet. What got me into oil painting in the first place? So, oil painting, um, in that one video or the last video, I guess, I think, my parents had an antique auction. And I got to see really nice artwork my whole life. So it always intrigued me or whatever. I always wondered if I could do it. Uh, once I finally finished my first one, I guess, <laughs> the first day looked awful. Like, awful bad. And it looked nothing like I wanted. And I stuck with it until I eventually changed it enough times or added enough paint. The canvas was pretty thick paint on that canvas. Uh, it's funny because my sky color was actually like, I touched it once, like the blue I don't think I ever touched, but the clouds, I put like a second layer into the clouds, but I could have left them on the first layer, and they looked pretty good. So like, there was part of it, like instantly, that worked, and I was like, okay. And then it was, it was hard, because there was the painting of the orange grass, or whatever, the landscape of orange grass, and to make a field of like knee high grass go for miles and not just look like a block is quite strange. <laughs> it's a strange experience to try to do. But once I figured out what I was doing, how I could achieve my goal, then it kind of came together. And then one day I was just like, sitting there doing what I've been doing and was like, you know what, I think I need to sign this thing. I think it's finished. It was pretty cool that it worked. I'm on the 
my first, I don't know, it was, it was determined. So like this room was like a guest bedroom slash not used office space. At one time there was a futon in here, but with the futon you couldn't even close the door or open the door and close the door or whatever all the way. And when I started painting, I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a mess on the carpet that was in here. So I tore the carpet out and refinished the floors in here. Just so I could try to paint. Like I was determined to make one work. Before I started, I guess. Uh, probably cancer though, is what actually like motivated me to try it in the first place. I would say. That the cancer probably is what sparked it. Kind of a bucket list thing, like I always thought I could do it. But never would have tried if I wouldn't have had cancer, I guess, maybe. For me. I said that that was going to be the darkest color. But I might actually put some, like, gray and black or whatever in there. Because I wouldn't get the light at all. Hmm. Should have been a little darker, I believe. That's a thing. That should be. Yeah, it could be that way. And then that needs to go there. VOM dot red. That's purple. Swear. There might be a colorblind uh, filter on the PC or your phone. You should check it out. Try it. Might help. Um. I want to go here. Yeah, there's a couple dark, dark spots that I just don't know how I'm gonna do them yet. Is it looking sort of like shadowy moonlight yet? <laughs> Hi, dog. My dog came to see me. Hey. Yeah, I'm painting. Yeah. Um. Okay. Did that answer your question? Or did I ramble and like totally skip answering it? I'll have to get better if I didn't. 
<laughs> if I didn't ramble, I mean. <laughs> paint this other color that I picked. I think this is called a filbert and it's really big one. Yeah, number eight. That camera is terrible today. I never realized that I... Yeah, they, uh, me, my dad, and my brother all had it in the same year. Uh, just bladder cancer. They cut it out and that was okay, but yeah, did have it. is dirty. So I've been cancer free now for like three years I think. Something like that. I'm gonna reset that camera because it's not apparently working. Yeah, it disappeared when I tried to do that, so... Yeah, maybe it'll be better now anyway. It was a little bit out of sync, I think. You're doing what you love and I admire you for that and I'm glad we can be on this journey with you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, yeah, it's different. <laughs> it's not something that I ever intended on, like, doing. It just kind of happened. Oh, what am I doing? I need to make it lighter first. It just happened. I guess, like, I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. Like, as an artist, you always want your art to be appreciated or whatever. So, hopefully, more people see it and like it or whatever. I guess. Those might be too contrasting. I do not know.
what it's going to look like, but we're going to go with it until it's covered anyway and see see where we get. <laughs> Worst thing that happens is we add more paint. <laughs> Have to do it again, right? That was probably too much for down there. You can maybe see some of what I was talking about with the brush strokes going sideways or up and down or whatever. If you look at some of those purples, maybe you can kind of see where like the same color actually looks a little different when I put it on there. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Don't know if you can see it. I can see it in here though. The lady knows what she's talking about. I don't know if it'll help me enough or if I'll have to use color to achieve some of what I wanted. But it's cool to know that it worked. That is for sure. Verda life. Yeah, man. Yeah. All lives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hard to tell because it's so light in here. We got so much light in here. Oops, that was the wrong color there, but whatever. I'm wondering if I can... go lighter on that side even, instead of darker. Watching the cartoon paint, you were getting quite contorted to get the brush stroke right. <laughs> yeah, probably. I was using a... Uh... That little tiny thing? I mean, it's not really that tiny, but... It's... <laughs> Uh, oh, wrong way. It's kind of tiny, like... <laughs> I use a lot of bigger brushes, so that, yeah, that's like my little fine detail thing. I don't know. I don't know how the best way to paint those are. I would love to just paint them. I've been working on the animation thing, which is pretty cool. And I've got... So I'm going to do the number one, like the... Uh, the deserted island scene first and I've got it to where like it looks like the boats cruising up or whatever to the island I just have to clean that like first part up and then draw the other blocks for that scene three more scenes or whatever um, 
but I think they're gonna go okay. It's not gonna be super pro, that's for sure. I'm gonna put this on here now, but I might wanna make this black and not light. I might not want this to be in the highlight. I might want that to be in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> did you see what I did there? <laughs> if not, you're pretty slow. <laughs> More lighter. Those are supposed to look like cliffs that are like protruding out of the side of the mountain and catching the reflection of the moonlight. I don't know. I don't know how it's going at all. To me, it just looks like a glob of, <laughs> a glob of nasty, but I know once I can like really sit back like 30 feet away and stare at it for a while, then I'll be more comfortable with where it's at. I think the colors are gonna kind of work though, but I do think I might have to like add a few more layers even to this layer. That thing like was pretty good the first time. I don't know, it's probably because it's like five o'clock or whatever and everybody's getting off of work and using their Wi-Fi. <laughs> Butt heads. So I want that to be lighter. Again. That was the best thing I ever did, honestly. One of the smartest things that I ever did. <sighs> Not touching it <laughs> when it's wet, but <laughs> painting it <laughs> was pretty good on my part. I skipped a whole block. <laughs> that was supposed to be purple. Hmm. Or did I?
So, stupid thing. I have no idea of that part, what I just did, but I'm thinking that I can, instead of having just the tree be a tall pine tree, I can uh, come out somehow. I think there's a gap between some of the branches or something on that side. Yeah. More lighter. And then this part. You learn something new every time. The color chart is a great idea. Did you learn anything doing the first live stream? Mm. A little. I definitely watched it over. a little bit that I learned and then like some of it was corrected but not like some of what I didn't like from it like audio wise I think I got better hopefully hopefully the audio is even better this time than it was last time just trying to yeah the kink parts or whatever, I don't know. It wasn't too bad. I was more nervous the first time a little bit. But even then, I like, it go away after a couple times. Um, that painting of the prairie chicken my colors were a little off and I knew they were like the whole time kind of on some parts some parts they were fine some parts just needed a little bit of like highlights and stuff once it sat for a few hours oh my gosh that camera is terrible and uh but yeah it turned out good after I looked at it more the one thing I learned from the live stream was like when I was looking at it I saw that it looked better in the computer and on the mirror. It's because it's backwards. Like the Americans we read left to right so our brain reads left to right and if I would have made the bird in the water tank like facing the opposite direction it would have looked even better to the to the viewer a little bit should have been head left instead of head right but something i knew and i didn't think about like never thought about it in a painting necessarily so live and learn there was that this part i don't know at all right in here how that's gonna end up. I want that to look almost <laughs> straight. 
straight down. So I thought I would put like a little ledge underneath there maybe, then you would notice it more. Or not notice, I don't know, not notice it more, but maybe it would work out that way. That bugs me <laughs> that I forgot <clears throat> to do a big old chunk and I used all my purple paint and then I mixed up so I'm gonna wait to paint that until I paint more on there I'm gonna have to mix up some more purples Anyways, the next time that I paint on there I need to mix up some gray though now so I can do my sky Because I can do that Gray. And I didn't put gray on this color chart yet. I need to do that. You like some? Yeah, I already read that. Uh, that's similar ish. So that would work for that. Um, put the most gray in it. Oh, yeah, okay, thinking to myself, I thought how I was going to do this earlier and then I was like, spaced it out completely until just now. And then I just remembered, so that was cool. Before I even put paint on there, I knew what I was supposed to do. Midnight in the UK now. Eleven, not quite midnight. <laughs> See, nervous about starting a new job, or like, 
I don't know, you said it was a buddy or something, right? So how do you feel about that? Like working for friends or whatever. I think that'll be cool. Not a not have problems in the long run or whatever. Or is this just kind of like, I'll do it for a while because I need to <laughs> the income for now and then figure out what I want to do later or something kind of a job? Or are you actually going to stay there for a while? Yeah, I'm not nervous. That's good. Shouldn't be. <laughs> Hope not. Not for that. Be a lot more nervous going to work as a bar fighter. <laughs> Rachel, how are you? I'm well. I am not gonna complain. Not at all. How's Alabama? Hope Alabama's treating you well. Notifications are lagging. I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah, he almost <laughs> he almost missed me because I'm fast. <laughs> Super fast. <clears throat> it's cold in Alabama. Really, kind of sucks. Uh, it's 49 in Kansas still, so it's just cooling off already. It was 51 a little over an hour ago. Not bad. Oh, what do you guys think? Rachel, what's this look like?
the part that I want to It might look too blue though. I can't, can't tell. Yeah, it's been pretty nice here too. Today was a little bit colder because it was so windy. The wind here sucks, but other than the wind, it was pretty good. Yesterday was really actually pretty beautiful out. Almost all day. I'm hoping, like, so part, I know that this isn't done yet, but part of what my, yeah, <laughs> part of my thought process, like, behind this scene, is, like, all the detail is from here, basically. Then there's just going to be some pine needles, and if I actually like what I've done, then I might put a little dude sitting there with his knee up, leaning up on an elbow or whatever, on a blanket. kind of a thing, just staring out into the like vast awesome that I created for him. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> you were expecting snow Sunday. We never know what we will have. So where are you in Alabama? Like, I spent five months or something in Huntsville, but that is clear way up all the way at the border, like north or whatever. And it did snow there on occasion. I think is expected or whatever. Is the snow where you're at all the time? Have it. Hmm. I tried to set up a thing. Um, oh, that won't work. Never mind. Somebody type explanation point up to him and see what if it actually does anything. I might have to figure out how to make the deal work better, but... Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna have to put gray. And white, or whatever. Maybe not white, but some lighter colors in there just to give those shadows and highlights, more shadows and highlights. We had snow on Chihaha, right up on the mountain. But none here so far this season. We've only had three snows, I think. I think it snowed three times here, is all. It's been pretty, like, dry. Not good for the farmers and stuff. They could use the moistures. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to start painting on this part. Partly because I didn't mix up any colors for it. And partly because I want to paint that part. So I know what colors 
I want these trees and the ground and stuff to be so that it all contrasts or whatever correctly. I don't know if it's contrast, but I don't know the proper terminologies for visual stuff. Hues and saturations and contrast and whatever else there is. I don't even really understand what values are entirely. I mean, kind of, but not completely. That's what that's supposed to be. Help me to keep my values better, I guess, but... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they were terrible anyway. The north can keep the snow and it will donate our rain to loot. Yeah, you could give us some rain. I don't know if I want to keep my snow. Oh, that was pretty. Oh. I need to quit doing that. <laughs> quit, quit, quit. I'm trying to, there's some spots where the brown is still showing through. I didn't quite get it covered good. I wanted to do that. Today's still warm, but we've had nothing but really hot days lately. We love a little snow. It's summertime there, man. Like, does it snow there in the winter? I mean, I'm sure. I know you guys got snow in the mountains or whatever, but you get snow like in Auckland or wherever. This one was kind of strange. <clears throat> this painting is kind of, kind of different. Because, oh, I forgot that one. The, when I said I like changed the mic or whatever to make the breast strokes like louder, basically, I had a filter thing turned on that was totally killing them, basically. The last painting would have been like, Super loud, like all my brushes. Kind of stuff, and this one I'm like, <laughs> not really doing that. It's a little weird. I'm not going as a uh, I'm not going as ham <laughs> or whatever. I'm not going as wild like with the paint brush on this one. Trying to be more precise. Very rare, but little and extreme. So like Florida or something like <laughs> North Carolina or I don't know where it doesn't really do it, but it might like once every couple of years <laughs> kind of a gig. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's part of the reason that I decided to start my YouTube thing is like for both 
like a jur journal or whatever. My art. Um, yeah. yeah, like, I don't know, a video journal. I can go back if I like painted something. With, especially with the time lapse or whatever even and like see oh I did that or I didn't do that or that's how I did that it's kind of cool that and like so yeah like all, all my nieces and nephews and stuff I text them pictures of my paintings and I'm sure they got sick of like a picture of this and then tomorrow like whatever I paint like another picture of that <laughs> so if they could just watch the whole thing at once then that's probably cool I don't know yeah it actually isn't looking terrible I can kind of see what I've done there looking at the mirror camera thing Yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna have to let this do its thing for a little bit though before I can do any more with it. Before I wanna do any more with it. Oh, I'll show you this one. Um, so this is the only other scene that I ever <laughs> made up or whatever off of my head and it was supposed to be a blue sky and like yeah, no tree or anything, but I didn't like it at all once I started working on it, so I totally changed it to what that was, which is pretty cool. Uh, that was the only one I really completely made up. The goat. I changed the rocks on both goats a little bit from what the pictures were because I don't know how to bob across a palette knife. Still learning. I wish I did. That guy was pretty good at that. He'd have made those mountains like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's pretty cool to be doing it, I guess. I like the art, though. Like, I had no idea a year and a half ago, whatever, two years ago, that, no, not even a year and a half. I started painting Christmas last year. So a year and a month ago, or whatever, basically. And, yeah. Uh, hmm. Let me think. <laughs> How do I do that? Uh, I don't want to do it right now. I was going to try and show you a picture, but I don't want to... <laughs> I don't have my OBS set up for like display captures and stuff and I think it's easy but I don't want to mess with it while I'm trying to sit here. Took you forever to learn the happy trees and no way you try the knife thing. <laughs> yeah, I've tried it a little bit. I actually like kind of figured it out <clears throat> on the turtle. And in the coral part before I mixed all the colors to put the what you see like 
there, that coral stuff, like I used a palette knife and put some purple, like actual coralline algae color that I mixed up on there and it looked pretty cool and then I overdid it because <laughs> that's what happens and he warns you about that but I found out what overdoing it was so it's kind of cool. I was still, I don't know. I don't know if I want to try out, still maybe do it to the goat rocks at some point. But I have no clue if I should or shouldn't. Some painting though, I'm gonna use one probably soon. More, use one more like, like this, like these brush strokes are entirely different than what I've been doing, using, so. Yeah, like, just trying to experiment and learn some different techniques and then hopefully I can use them all when I paint the volcano. It'll all be into one big, they'll all come together and it'll actually not suck. So that's my goal is when I paint it that it looks good. It should. I think that it will look good, the volcano. The picture I've got is pretty cool from the screenshot that we took or that I took. And I think a lot of you guys were there that day when I actually like, got that screenshot. But the colors on there are right in my ballpark <laughs> which helps a lot i don't have to go out to try to do my colors or get different colors or whatever so that's pretty cool oh, it's interesting um i don't know what day i'm gonna stream again i'm gonna save this though for when I do this painting. I'll try and like just work on it on the stream really hard. Might be really, really hard <laughs> to do, but I will try to do that for you guys. So you can watch it keep coming together or whatever. <clears throat> when I started on it, like the underpainting part or whatever, all I was gonna do was tone the canvas so it wasn't white. Cause I really hated that bird painting cause it was so white when like, that's why my colors were off a little bit. The sunrise that day. Yeah, it was beautiful. Like, I don't know, it's kind of a very strange subject matter to paint from or whatever like that photo because even if you were standing at that spot it would look different than what that webcam view like showed but that's what we all saw so anybody that saw it knows what the like, i don't know it'll like it'll probably look funny as heck to nikki though because like there's probably nowhere on the island where it actually looks just like that. <laughs> and I don't know what day they actually like started their 10 day, 14 day, like it's over countdown thing. But that photo is very close to when the end of the eruption was or whatever. I don't think it actually gushed out some more lava or whatever after that i think that it was pretty much done after that photo was taken or whatever too which is kind of kind of pretty cool that's how i always wanted to get a picture of it. it was towards the end when it wasn't volcanoing <laughs> i don't want to paint the violence of like a volcano personally like that peaceful like nature stuff but serene or whatnot not crazy and 
explosive. Leave that to somebody else that enjoys painting that kind of thing. Pretty much. There's different artists out there, so we can all do like a little bit different type of things, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, I will uh, stream this again, and I'll try and schedule it again, at least for like a while until I know, I don't know, not if I know if people are gonna be there or whatever, but just give you guys like a chance to jump in here and watch it. It'll be pretty cool when it gets done, I think. Probably after this one, like, the next one I actually stream will probably be the volcano. The eruption has ceased and is officially declared over on Christmas Day. Let me look at my phone. Boom. December... I took the screenshot December 14th at 6 11 p.m. So 10 days before that. So like, yeah, that was literally like the last day of the eruption or whatever, like the day after the last day or whatever, it erupted the night before and then it stopped that day. We got the picture and then the official was on Christmas Day, like 10 days later. So that's really like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's gonna be a pretty cool painting though, too. So pretty thrilled about that. Uh, looks cool. Just now when I like pulled open the picture to look at like the metadata or whatever, I guess. I uh, haven't seen the picture for a minute, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> that is a cool picture. It's going to be pretty awesome. But, yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to go take my dog outside and all that stuff. Do some evening things. <laughs> uh, do some evening things. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't, that camera like definitely had more hiccups today. Hopefully it doesn't keep doing that. It worked pretty good the first time other than the two times I stood up, it was fine. But yeah, we'll uh, cut out here and then next time I will put a thing on there, put it up at least like a day early. Hugs to you too, monkey man. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave, but if anybody's watching that hasn't subscribed yet, subscribe so that you can get notified the next time and you can watch me finish the painting. Uh, it's been a blast. Cool to catch up with you guys. I'm glad you guys hung out with me while I painted for a while. It was awesome. I appreciate it. and. Yeah, peace and love and 